Good morning everyone and welcome to my other video This morning is so beautiful And my day today, like to do so many things And from the morning everything went wrong Nothing went according to the plan I don't know if you have days like this Today is one of these days, then nothing works First my son is home because he was a bit sick um, I think he got the virus or something and then I didn't send him to school today, so that's going to be a bit challenging. I think I get a bit of cold as well, so hopefully it's not going to stay. <laughs> I felt a bit not well in the morning, let's say. And now, at least, I want to do this video. I said I'm going to do a haul, and uh, a high street haul, but uh, of course I forgot to order a few other items. So I don't have all the items here with me in this video, so I'm going to do a very quick and short haul uh, anyway this happens i'm looking in so many websites and i want to order so many things and then i forget that i didn't order one of the things i thought i did order and i didn't so other things will come next week so this is what it is we're gonna do just sweaters in this haul i really wanted something like you just put it put it on top of anything you can have turtleneck you can wear it on any tops shirts t-shirts so i really wanted something warm and something maybe a bit colorful a bit of color because i feel like my wardrobe or anyway my tops are all black a lot of whites and beige so i really wanted something with a bit of color otherwise i feel like my wardrobe is so boring let's have a look i ordered first one first package is from Arquette I never ordered this one from, from them before there isn't like another ramification of H&M you know, company, I guess every time I type in high street brands or H&M or Zara Arquette comes a lot in my research I think it's very, it's kind of big here in France when I was in England, this I didn't come across with Arquette at all, so I don't think, I don't know if this, maybe they deliver there, but it doesn't come out in research as much as here. I did one uh, sweater from there, because I never tried. Looking now more of like uh, materials, it's so important to me. I know all of this cheap stuff, like H&M, Zara, and a lot of other brands, they use a lot of polyester, a lot of, a lot of plastic in the clothes. And when you wash your clothes, a lot of small particles comes out and it goes back into, into water, into your nature. And that's why we have so much plastic around on the planet, on everywhere. So it's so bad for us. And then, you know, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, we have all this pollution around us. And then we are thinking why we get sick and we have so many health problems. We live in this era where... You get sick from anything. I try to cut as much as I can. Uh, I know if if I want to buy something really super quality, then usually it's brands and it's super expensive. So I can't really always buy something like I could not really pay five hundred pounds for a sweater uh, or more than five hundred, you know, for a brand that is good quality. And uh, even though I would buy it to be honest, because these things, I think, if you buy brand and super expensive, it should last you years if you look after it, because the quality is there and it shouldn't get damaged or losing shape or things like that. So I think it's good investment. I still think maybe at some point I will, I will buy things like that, but at the moment. I'm gonna stick with this. And I went for this sweater that is such a beautiful color, a lilac. Um, I don't have nothing in lilac at the moment. So I think this will be great. And I choose size M because I kind of want a bit oversized because you can put anything underneath and so it's not too tight on the body. But let's see how it looks. It might be too big, I'm not sure. Maybe I should go on for rest because this quite looks but it's fine um, okay so it's made of merino wool which is good alpaca it's like uh, another type of wool i guess keeps you warm it's quite um, soft and quite thick it's not too thin because i didn't want something too thin either it's nice because you can wear it on its own or on top of something i've tried to run from plastic stuff in in the clothes now for my son i really buy things that are cheap and of course has plastic like 
H&M and I buy more for him like that because um, even Primark, every three months I have to go and buy other clothes. He's growing so fast, so it's not really point for me and I don't want to get him used to with the brand clothes. Apart from good shoes or maybe uh, like a jacket, he doesn't have anything branded uh, and I don't want him to know about that. I'm sure that will come when he's a teenager. That's the part that, yeah, I'm not happy about, but you know, he's growing too fast. It says it's made in Stockholm. It has polyester. So, like I said, I can't really, I wish I could run from it 100%, but because of the price, I can't. So, even branded clothes, I've seen like uh, Michael Kors and you know, this 200 pounds, like uh, jumper, and it still has polyester. This is 35 polyester, 31 alapaca, and then wool and elastan. It's not too bad, it's not that bad as others. And then we'll try this after. I'm gonna show you what I've got and then I will try. And this, oh, just different colors. Ooh, okay, first one. I went for beige again, obviously. Uh, I want to see if it's not too short, but it looks nice. Um, I think the Arquette one is a bit much more... The other one is softer, I guess. 47% wool. Yeah, that's it, they say. This is made in China, the other one is made in Stockholm. Alright, we will try this one too. I like the buttons. Let's see. Gold, strawberry. They're pretty. Okay, and the last one. Wow, this one looks like really proper stuff. Proper winter. Thick, long. I love it. This one is 52% wool and other beads that we kind of know, I guess. Let's put it on. I had to put the blinds out because it's really sunny in this room, which is nice, just for you to see. To be honest, I like this color a lot. I think it will look good with the turtleneck I have. Uh, it will be really nice and lovely. Or you can just... Have it open. It's a goodbye. Okay, next one. This one separates like this. If you can tell. I'm afraid this one is gonna a little bit scratch my skin, if you know what I mean. It's not that soft as the previous one. After under this, I really need something to wear because it's gonna be a bit scratching on the skin it's a bit shorter but under my black top it's a bit see-through I guess but yeah it's nice detailing yeah if you ask me the way I feel I like better the other one the way it feels on the skin it looks good let me know what you think in the comments below and the last one this one it's a big big winner it's lovely material, it doesn't scratch the skin, but the thing, the one thing is, do I need size S? Does it look massive? I know it has to be a bit loose and to have a bit of like, you know, room, which I like, or it's nice this way. I would really want to know, what do you think? Should I keep it size M? Or, or should I, should I uh, go for size S? Probably I could have gone for size S because it's quite... It's already designed to be... No, I think it's fine. No, otherwise it will be too tight. Mm -hmm. But here is really loose. I just love it. Oh, it's so cozy. It's so, so cozy. And this one, I think I will wear it more. I like it. I like the length, definitely. I really like to co be covered on my back because when it's cold or anything like when it's cold, it's um, not nice to be to feel cold in my back, especially here. So that's that's brilliant. Oh, I love this one so much, and even the color. Come on guys, comment below, 
Tell me what you think. I know it's not a big haul. It's very really small. It's small but cute, right? Things like this we need. So I always show you what I like and what I what I what I need, especially what I need, and then I show you. Otherwise, I don't buy things I don't need. Yeah, this one is such a winner. I like this um, V shape. You can see what's under, and it's just easy to style, I guess. Kevin, how are you feeling? Hmm? Are a bit, a bit sick? Tiny bit? Yes. Yeah, I can feel you a little bit. Don't be a, a bit warm. Eater, Royce Time to go to oh. So it's gonna be today. Is gonna be a chill day. Just sitting at home, looking after Kevin. Okay. I need to make a soup, a chicken soup or vegetable soup. I'll see which one. You don't? Want? No. Oh, but it's nice when you're sick. And um, yeah, we'll see tomorrow. I don't think you'll be better for tomorrow. I mean, who knows? But it's not like he has a big temperature. It's just like a virus, I'm sure, from uh, school. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna, gonna continue with my uh, day. I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.